Trent, who had been on vacation in Florida, was unexpectedly called back into work. He was a coroner in his town of North Carolina. It was dark and rainy out. The clock read 2.15 as he got into his red pickup truck to rush to whatever gruesome sight he might have to see next. As he made his way in onto the interstate, he noticed it was more empty than usual. Almost terrifyingly so. About a half hour later into his drive, he checked the time again and it read three o'clock. Then, far out, just beyond the sight of his headlights, he saw something just ahead on the side of the road. What looked to be a girl, young, maybe early mid-twenties. She was blonde, shaking, and looked drenched, dirty, and cold. As she came more into focus and view, he pulled over and rolled the window down. Young lady, you aren't looking too good. She just looked up at him, almost spooked. There was some sort of link held between the two, for a silence grew and boiled over. I could say the same for you, mister she said, never blinking, staring deeply into his eyes with hers. She had brown eyes as big as quarters with a never-ending cold but curious gaze. Ha! <laughs> Funny. What's your name, kid? Grace? Grace Halloway? She had on a tank top, bell bottoms, and brown boots. She was shaking and looked pale, as if she was frightened or had just seen a ghost. You know what, kid? I was making my way back to North Carolina for work. Would you like a ride? Sure, she said almost hesitantly with a stutter. But with such a burst that Trent couldn't discern as either happiness or nervousness. He opened the passenger door and she climbed into his truck. She looked over and beamed down at his badge on his hip. You a copper or something, ma'am? Copper? God, you sound like my mother, said Trent with a chuckle. No, I'm, I'm a coroner, but I do work very closely with my town's police department. I see. She said st and stared at him. Then she stared at the wheel. She looked nervous or on the verge of tears. Trent looked over at her. She seemed like a wreck. He hadn't thought of what to do or say, but after all, it is his job to tell the loved ones of a dead man that their family won't be returning home anymore. So he extended his courtesy. Hey, kid, uh, Grace, wasn't it? You all right? You seem a little freaked out. His first thought was drugs, but he hadn't seen a trip like this before. I I'm fine, man. It's just, I don't even know. I got a bad feeling in my gut, dude. He looked at her as she looked back at him with a seriously worried cadence. Is that so? Well, what about? She just stared at him and almost looked through him. How'd you even get out there, Gracie? Where are you from? Where are your parents? Hey, 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 old man. I ain't gonna stand for you trying to dox me. I have the right not to tell you. Human rights. Trent looked back at her and chuckled. She cracked a smile. As she was turning his attention from her back to the road, a huge deer comes running out of nowhere, causing Trent to steer clear of it 
as he moved into the other lane. A semi-truck plows right into the truck. Grace, not looking, alarmed at all, grabs the steering wheel and Trent notices this before everything goes black. When he wakes up, it's bright out. He's being patched up by paramedics. He looks over to his right to see the truck driver giving his report and his truck, which has been hugely totaled. He can't feel his right leg and his left hand, but everything else feels perfectly fine. He looks around and asks the paramedic, giving him medical treatment. Where's the girl? Gracie? The paramedic looked confused. Gracie? Yeah, the blonde young woman, about 20 brown eyes. Sir, there was no girl. You were the only one we found in the car. Trent shivered in confusion. Truly something had to be wrong. There had to have been a mistake. But of course she was... She was where it all... She was there when it all happened. The paramedic just stared back at him. As they loaded him into the ambulance and drive back into Florida. Just aside the road, there was a tiny roadside memorial. Flowers and pictures of a beautiful blonde young woman. The words at the bottom just above beautiful spring season flowers read, Graceland Holloway, gone but never forgotten, 1983 to 2003.